I apologize to those of you who don't care about baseball, but I want to take a moment to tell the story of one of the funniest contract agreements in sports history. Those of you who do care about baseball probably already know this story, so I don't really know who this video is for. Me, I guess. This is Bobby Bonilla, a third baseman and right fielder who played professional baseball from 1986 to 2001. Over the course of those years, Bonilla played for eight different teams, including two stints with the New York Mets. The first one, from 92 to 95, went pretty well for old Bobby. Here are his stats for those of you who care. So after he bounced around three other teams from 95 to 98, the Mets decided to bring Bobby back. Unfortunately, Bonilla was well past his prime at this point, so he had a pretty bad season in 1999. He also had beef with the manager, once playing cards in the clubhouse during an elimination game out of spite. So the Mets had no interest in bringing him back for the year 2000. Unfortunately for the Mets, they still owed Bonilla $5.9 million over two seasons. And this is when history was made. You see, Bobby Bonilla and his agent worked out a deferred payment deal with the Mets. Deferring the payment on a contract is quite common in baseball. Take, for example, Mookie Betts' contract with the Dodgers. It's for 12 years and worth $365 million. But instead of looking like this, as it would without deferral, the contract is designed so it looks like this. The total payout is still $365 million, but it's spread out over a longer time to put less of a financial strain on the team. But Bobby Bonilla's contract was a different story. The agreement included an 11-year gap of no payments to Bonilla, at which point annual payments with 8% interest would begin. So instead of looking like this, Bonilla's contract actually looked like this. Yes, that's right. Instead of being worth $5.9 million, Bobby's agent negotiated a contract worth $29.8 million. If that doesn't make him a legend in sports agent history, I don't know what would. I'm sure at this point you're wondering one thing. Why do they pronounce it Bonilla? Is he Italian? No, actually, he's from New York, but the name has Spanish origins. Or maybe you're wondering how the hell this deal made any financial sense for the Mets. Well, that's when the story gets really weird. The Mets owner at the time, real estate developer Fred Wilpon, agreed to the deal because he was heavily investing in accounts run by none other than Bernie Madoff. Wilpon figured that since Madoff's accounts were promising 10% annual returns, it was wiser to keep the money for longer and invest it for profit. Unfortunately, as you may know, Bernie Madoff was later arrested for operating the largest Ponzi scheme in history and was sentenced to 150 years in prison. Needless to say, Wilpon did not get that 10% return, leaving him with a contract paying Bobby Bonilla almost $30 million. Starting in 2011, the Mets have paid Bobby $1,193,248.20 every year on July 1st. This has become known as Bobby Bonilla Day in the fanbase. So even though he hasn't played baseball since October of 2001, Bobby Bonilla will be collecting nearly $1.2 million every year until 2035, when he will be 72 years old. In 2020, Fred Wilpon sold the Mets to billionaire hedge fund manager Steve Cohen, another guy with a questionable financial history. After the purchase, a fan on Twitter asked Cohen if he would attempt to buy out Bonilla's contract to change the mojo, to which Cohen replied, Let's take a vote. How about we have a Bobby Bonilla day every year? Hand him an oversized check and drive a lap around the stadium. Could be fun. In other words, it's safe to say the contract isn't going anywhere. As for Bobby Bonilla, who is being paid more every year than many active MLB players, he hates the contract. I'm kidding, he loves it dearly. And believe it or not, this isn't even the only deferred contract Bobby is collecting from. The Baltimore Orioles have also been paying him $500,000 a year every Bobby Bonilla day from 2004 to 2029. Bobby was quoted saying, People forget my birthday, but nobody forgets July 1st. I get more texts and calls that day than any other during the year. And that's the story of how Bobby Bonilla is one of the only people to profit off of Bernie Madoff's crimes. So if you're ever a professional athlete whose boss is investing in fraudulent asset management, offer them a deferred contract with interest. Tell them Bobby B sent ya. Now please consider subscribing so I can turn this YouTube channel into a Ponzi scheme.